Okay, so that you should see a an Excel spreadsheet or a Google spreadsheet on the screen. Is that the case? Simon or someone, can you just confirm that that's what you can see? Yep, it's on the screen. Oh, great. Okay. Yep. So this is another um, output from the Dagshaw workshop. Obviously, um, we just several of the participants just thought it would be a good idea to have a list of vocabulary tools, not really vocabularies. I mean, we've got whole catalogs of those. Um, but this is a list of vocabulary tools, and I think Simon might have just shared the link to it there. Um, so the this list of tools was just whatever occurred to us, and us being myself, Edmund, uh, I think maybe Kieran. I'm not quite. I can't quite remember who all was there, but um, a few of us contributed to this list. We've we've added up, uh, updated and added to it slightly since the meeting. And this morning, I just uh, added a couple of extra bits and pieces as well. So the idea is to have just a list here um, that this working, this uh, interest group can know about and maybe add to it as they see fit. And if a new U-Butte vocabulary tool comes along, definitely should be added um, and then you know, we can see it. So let's just talk about a couple of the uh, tools that are on here. I think most of the well-known SCOS style vocabulary tools are listed here. So, so not all of the, not, I mean, there, there would be hundreds of vocabulary tools, I'm sure, uh, but these are the ones that we know about that are somewhat predicated on or related to or use SCOS. Um, so there's some pretty well-known ones like SCOSMOS. A lot of places use the SCOSMOS tool. Uh, that's a, um, a web-based, uh, as it says, discovering, discovery authoring display tool. Um, and it's made by the National Library of Finland. Um, many, many instances of that tool in use. Um, CISPOC, uh, CSIRO's uh, old vocabulary tool uh, that Simon and, and others are involved in. Um, that's used by RDC and a few other places. Um, and then there's a whole list of, so those are kind of display systems. And then there's things like Edmunds uh, Excel to RDF conversion tool. There's a couple of RDF conversion tools or um, vocab ones. Uh, I maintain one called, if I can find it in the list, Voc Excel. Yeah, pretty uh, innovative name, uh, but it converts Excel workbooks and shortly Google spreadsheets to um, Excel. Uh, what am I saying? Spreadsheets to, to SCOS vocabularies. Um, so there's that kind of tooling. Uh, there are also, um, I mean, we've even listed Google spreadsheets in Excel here because, you know, people use these and um, it's probably worthwhile just reminding people that they are used and they with governance and so on can be used effectively. And in fact, the plan for the Indigenous Data Networks catalog is to use Google Spreadsheets for an awful lot of content, perhaps also including vocabularies of some form. Maybe the source for, uh, information, which then becomes SCOS RDF somewhere else. Uh, there are a couple of portals listed here, and because the portals are uh, all using Onto Portal technology, and then there's, there's many instances of those portals that supply uh, um, vocabulary information and they can be reused. So you can get a copy of that portal and use it yourself, which is why it's listed here. A um, couple of other things that are a bit different. Uh, GitHub's listed because as Simon mentioned, and as I think most of us know, you can use GitHub for pretty effective versioning. And so it's, it's reasonable to consider that a vocabulary management tool. Uh, certainly all of the vocabularies that feed into the Commission for Geoscience Information and a few other servers, they're actually managed in, in GitHub and then displayed through VocPres and other tooling. Um, a couple of other notes on the other kinds of tooling that are listed here. Uh, there's a, a vocab validator, QSCOS. That's a, an online tool that you can use to check your, your vocabulary and see whether it meets all of the SCOS requirements. Um, there's a, a, a profile somewhere or other here. There we go, profile of SCOS that, uh, that I've made. VocPub, it does the same thing and it's got a narrower set of rules. It doesn't allow all of the uh, combinations of things that you could have for other um, uh, other under other SCOS regimes. Uh, what else have we got here? So SCOSify, another bunch of rules by the National Library of Finland for validating vocabularies. Um, Protege, so Protege is the generic, no, I said generic, but it's a, it's a linked data or a, or a um, an RDF an ontology editing tool. And yes, you can do SCOS vocabularies in that, as you can with Top Braid Composer and Top Braid Edge. Again, these are really RDF tools or, or, um, or linked data tools, um, which can be used for vocabularies, SCOS play, et cetera, et cetera. So there's quite a list here. Um, and I find new ones occasion, I pop them in there. So I found one called Atrum has this here. Um, it's used by, in fact, made by and supported by the government of Flanders. Um, and so they use it to deliver a bunch of vocabularies. 
and it's a, a web-based uh, authoring and display tool that you can pick up and use. It's a Python-based system. So quite a few there. Um, please don't consider this to be Nick's list. In fact, it really shouldn't be. Obviously, I'm a vocabulary tool maker myself, so that potentially raises conflicts of interest with supporting a, a generic list. Um, so yeah, everyone else's is rubbish and mine's awesome. Um, so uh, if the working group or this interest group can maintain this, that'd be great. Um, probably only needs to be revisited once a year or something, and we can just have a look and see if there's any new tools that have come along or any notes about whether tools are being commercially supported and so on. Um, yeah, so that's my little presentation. Um, and uh, I'll stop sharing my screen. I'm happy to take questions, of course.